Oh, oh, hi. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to another Jerry's Live After Party, the only pre-recorded show on the internet to discuss the events of a live event that has not yet happened. That's what we do here. And today, I'm going to get schooled. Uh, I'm going to get schooled. I personally, uh, I'm so spoiled. I've never had to stretch a canvas in my <laughs> really life. Really never. These, these hands didn't have to. I could just get whatever oh, size canvas I, I needed. Um, but today, I'm going to learn. And Amy... Yeah. is going to teach me how to stretch canvas and some of the tips and tricks mm -hmm. uh, that go into that. Right. right. This is JL46 uh, canvas stretching when the dollars make sense. Okay. And, and oh, I call... That's funny. I, <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah. And I really, well, the reason I did that is because everybody always sees what the cost saving is, especially if you're doing larger canvases for stretching it yourself. Mm -hmm. But then maybe they don't think of all of the things that you need to buy like a whole roll of something which you may not use completely or um, the time that it takes to do the actual stretching and then priming if it's unprimed and all the things that go into it, they just see the immediate upfront kind of cost right. savings. But there are times that this is actually much more helpful. Um, like uh, if you've got somebody that you're doing a custom commission for, they want a specific size. Um, if you, you know, are, are working with a gallery and they demand it beyond, you know, two, two and a half, three mm -hmm. inch stretcher bars, obviously there's not a lot of standard canvases like that. Um, if you, you know, like a very particular linen or a, a priming or a canvas surface that they don't make that, you mm -hmm. know, that's because they don't, the, obviously there's no reason for, uh, a manufacturer to carry everything right. already pre-made. So, so this is kind of we're, the reason that we're going to do this is to go over, you know, the, the benefits and drawbacks of, of how to do it, um, kind of see what it's like sure. for some people. Um, and then uh, when we go to stretch, we'll actually have you stretch uh, one with just regular cotton canvas, yes, like most people will for the first time, because that's the easiest. Out. I'm a beginner. The easiest. Yeah. Um, and, and the staple gun, and I'll actually do one with the copper tacks and do it on the edges and kind of learn some techniques for doing the corners. The corners are a trick okay. the first time. So um, so that's what we're going to do. Now, something that I wanted to discuss before we kind of start is something people don't think about. Um, we've talked about support-induced discoloration before on the show. Okay. Yeah, SDI, I guess we could call it, SDI. which sounds really not good. I have an SDI. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm an artist and I have an SDI. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, but um, what you're going to really want to do when you get your uh, starter strips and then you're going to go to work with them is to make it completely as archival as possible, okay. which most people don't think about this. You're going to want to paint um, the GAC uh, 100 on it because that seals it just like just like when we've talked about doing panels and doing a barrier on our panels that provides a good uh, barrier that's going to make it so any of the acids and discoloration that could come through from this support mm -hmm. isn't going to come into our fabric because it one year 10 years not a big deal you're talking you know 50 years 100 years something like that you will get I've got paintings that were my great grandfather's that are over a hundred years old yep. or close to it now, um, and you can see some kind of darkening on the edges. So you gotta keep them watertight. That's right. So uh, anywhere that this is going to now, if it was me, I would paint. It is you. But uh, okay. Yeah, I would paint. You know, this side where the beading is, I would paint the back, and then I would paint the back here where this is going to be stretched. But if it's it. me, lazy, want the least amount of. Anywhere that this is going to be, that, that your canvas, that you know your canvas is going to be touching your I stretcher see. strip, okay? And this GAC 100, is this basically a transparent gesso? Um, it's it's not. It's a primer, but it's not necessarily a gesso. You want to go okay. ahead and then put a gesso because this isn't, a gesso is designed to be kind of a, depending on the, the type, either an absorbent or a semi-absorbent ground. Okay. So this is just basically a sealant. I see. Or when they say primer, they're meaning a, a sealant. An extender, it says but that's using it with acrylics, with acrylics to, to thin. thin them. So, um, so it's very flexible. It's it's you know good to just seal it. I would do two coats. Okay. Now, um, as we do this, when we make the one that we're going to actually stretch, before you do that, you actually want to sand the corners because you'll you'll feel as we do this and go along. There's a little sharper edge to it. Once you put it together, you might you know ding up a corner or something mm -hmm. like that you're going to want to sand that and just feel and make sure all your surfaces that that canvas is going to touch are going to be smooth so we'll do that when we do our final one but so sand 
then put that sealant on there. If, if you're concerned about it, you want to be, you know, okay. super archival. So those are the steps just getting to it. Okay. Well, look, we haven't even started I know. yet. And I'm already I know. Like, just keep buying them. I know. <laughs> oh. it, it, it's easier in some ways, not so much in others. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to stretch kind of more the basic ones. Okay. okay. Um, so go ahead and grab right under here. Oh, this is good. This is going to be the one that you're going to make that will stretch Ooh, I got in a, just a little bit. Got a big one. Yeah. Easier. Actually, you know what? Let's do this one first because this will oh, be easier. Oh, those are small. Yeah, that's, you know, work your way up. Work your way up. And I'll stretch the one that I'm going to be using. That's just the, the basic kind of... Oh. <laughs> That'd just be great. Lose. You know, lose, lose a filling or something because you're opening your structure. I don't get that cavities. Way. Okay. All right. So these are just, this is kind of the introductory line, kind of the value line of just the basic stretcher strip. And what kind of wood is this? Uh, this is just pine. Pine wood. Okay. Which you, you can oh, tell, yeah, you can tell from the, the smell and then yeah. from the kind of the grain of it. Um, and then I'm going to be doing the pro light, which is kind of the step up. You'll be able to kind of see the difference in the beading around it. Side by side, that bad yeah. boy. The beading, see how the beading is slightly higher on this? This actually has beading on both sides, which, which I really like. That's got the beading on the front. All right. Okay. I'm still unwrapping That's stuff. fine. Now, there's some people that I've seen use a regular hammer no, to, no, no, no. to gently kind of push the corners into line. Unless you've got hardwood, which you don't want because trying to staple into it or nail into it mm -hmm. would be incredibly difficult. You want a mallet. Okay. Because it's it's larger, it's very soft. A a regular hammer is going to dent regardless of whether you think it will or not. It just does. Okay. Don't don't ask me how I might. Oh, I have some ideas. Know that. Um, these <laughs> threatening will. With yeah. The well, you know. Mallet. All right. Okay. Occupational hazards working. With so me. you're just the easiest way I found is to kind of line them up like that and then slowly kind of slide them. So it's like a in. tongue and groove kind of thing. It is. It's gonna, it's a tongue and groove. And with these ones, these basic ones, it's a lot easier. You can usually just do them completely. Now, does it matter if it's a little off or? Um, it's, we can, we can just do the whole thing just first the whole thing and first. then you can kind of okay. hammer it in. Now, another thing it's that we, uh, I would get a carpenter's corner for these if it was me. Well, not if it was me. I don't use them. Okay. I, I can eyeball it. Um, Look at you. On, show off. No, it's, I just have a very, from having done so many years of sculpture, I have a very, I can tell something's slightly off, so I don't worry about it. Which is why you always give me funny looks. <laughs> not just because of this. <laughs> it's not just because of this. Okay. There you go. Does it matter that Oh, well, that's what that is is see how this is sticking out more here? Uh-huh. It's this part's actually needs to come out slightly, so you're going to very gently A little bit more. There you go. You see how see how that's squared up. It yep. looks about the same. Where ah, both this, yes. those come through. That looks good. So this one needs. So you can see a little bit of that and that. So this one needs to push in here, and then one more on the other one. Where's the tape? Yep. And then one last one right here. A little bit more. Oop, All right. Too much. That, well, that's that's actually okay. I think okay. that that's just that bar that looks pretty good. Okay, so you can see why we would sand that because that's sticking just a yep. little bit over. All right, so these are just our basic ones. Okay. Now go ahead and try that with this this thicker one. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a big difference. This and this is where one. the rubber mallets. You're gonna be happy that you have it. All right. So that's the 12 by 12 with the Gallery Pro Heavy Duty. So this is for the serious 
stretch your. Well, this is if you're if you're wanting potentially to, um, you know, for this not to be framed where it's just going to be you're going to paint the edges. Wrap. Yeah, yeah. All right. Why don't we come back in an hour when I have this. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> well, this he's, is a lot of fun. It's just, good for you. It's fun for everybody. Uh, While you're doing that, I'll go ahead and put these <laughs> together for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this doesn't feel right. I didn't want to point that out because I wanted to see how <laughs> It's important that you it's, it's a good thing to set them on the table, like the same side, either up or down, okay. before you first Break start out. Me. Yeah. <laughs> no. This is good. This is, this is how you learn it. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> a woodcut. Take them off. Take it off. Take it all off. This is not for people in small apartments. <laughs> yeah, with, with a lot of neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Since that's going to be the one you're going to use to do your, um, mm -hmm. your, go ahead and sand your edges while you're waiting on me. There's a lot of sounds in this video. <laughs> you keep hitting me with that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ASMR with a hammer, Will. <laughs> Who knows? There, there might be. Now I'm sanding the edges that the canvas is going to go wrap around. Yes. Yeah. Both. If it just kind of the best thing to do is feel around. If you feel any kind of, it's it's a tiny bit sharp on a couple of places. So just if you smooth that, and then really do your corners super smooth. Especially since you're going to be doing one that's. Um, unprimed, you know, it's important that because the fabric is a lot thinner that you protect it. This one is we're going to show putting different styles of uh, braces on the back because this is 20 by 40 so obviously and although it's a thicker structure strip I would still um, <clears throat> definitely put braces on it just because part of it is I know that I really torque a canvas down when I stretch it uh -huh. they look great but it's but depending on how it's done, because of the style that you, you that we're going to do it in, it can sometimes, with, with a thinner stretcher, torque it, or if it's really long, torque it a little bit. So I'm, I'm always more is more. <laughs> with, how long have you been with twerking bracing. for? <laughs> yeah. Torquing, yeah. Um, so we're going to put two on this just for overkill. Okay. Because that's the way I, I like it. Overly killed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, all right. So we getting there? I think so. I think so. This is the first time you've done woodworking as well. 
Yeah, I have zero life skills. It's I okay. can't. I can't do anything. You I, can make tacos. Right? I can make tacos if need be. I prefer when my wife makes tacos. Oh, okay. But I can make tacos. Okay. I'm gonna, now with these, I always staple them just to keep it from moving while I'm stretching. It provides a little bit of hold to it. Should I do the same? Uh, yes. Not quite as Ooh. necessary with that, but it's, it's fine. It feels so powerful. And with these, you can, instead of putting them here, since you're gonna be stretching around, it's fine for that, maybe put them right there. This is my favorite part so far. The stapling? It's just a very powerful... Is it like powerful. an instant gratification thing? <laughs> yeah. Of course, now it's lopsided. Oh, okay, That's okay. It's all right. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Good. We'll set this down here for okay. later. Now we're going to get our... We, we, <laughs> this is something people always call into customer service because they're confused. Right. They assume, okay, this is a 20 by 40, so I must somehow in my mind do the math to fix it so that it compensates for the stretcher bars because surely the place that the stretcher bar in between is going to go is not the 20 by 40 somewhere. Okay. Okay. Just don't worry if they do the math for you. Oh, okay. It's kind of the way to, you know, to do it is, is if it's a 20 inch bar and you need it to be braced that 20 inches, just get the 20 inch stretcher. Okay. Okay. Obviously, same for the 40. So, now with these. What, you space them out in thirds? Yes, I'm gonna do that. And this one is just a slight bit long, so I would be sanding that off. Can I have that? Yeah, there you go. Actually, let's see, because depending on if the. Maybe it's just the. It's just the, no. Yeah. It's just a little bit. Will we be stapling these on? We're gonna be screwing that on. Let me give you the... We're screwing them? Yes. Okay. Now I've seen people nail them. That's a bad idea because any fluctuation, it could shoot the nail out the yeah. back or have it pushed you, out. Right. A screw, you want it, you just don't want to like, okay, like sink it, which means that you're trying to Too push much. it down into the wood. You want it to be kind of sitting on top. So if it does expand and contract some, it'll stay in the wood, but it'll kind of move in that groove. Okay. okay, so you're gonna wanna kind of dead sink it in about the middle there. And let's see. Like right there? Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'm really not handy. Well, the, the table's a little high, so I, I watched The Bachelor. This is. Think of all that woodworking time you'd have if you didn't. Yeah, because then I'd be working on wood. Uh, how's this, Amy? <clears throat> I would bring it up just a slight bit, oh, just yeah. so it's okay. not. That was me holding back. Yes, that's good. Because then, because then it will be able to move. To see, because it's not pushed down quite so far. Okay. Yeah, and then just kind of. All right. I've got such shaky hands. It's all right. There? Yeah, that's perfect. Perfection achieved. I just kind of push it in and feel where it hits and then loosen it back up. This feels pretty solid right now. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay. So obviously it's a little bit of overkill. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I would yeah. rather I would rather have that, especially if I know I'm going to be stretching something like a, like a cotton that then I'm going to prime where it's going to shrink it a little bit. If I've kind of got it a little tighter one way than the other, it's not going to make this frame move, okay? See. Um, which, which these frames, it's a lot less likely. The, the first ones that we did, the really thin stretcher bars, that can tend to happen really easily, so you have to be more careful. But So I, I would take this, obviously, I would sand the edges. I'd put the, the um, GAC 100 on it, and yeah, this would be yeah. ready to go for kind of a cool style frame. <clears throat> All right. So... So that's just kind of your typical, just straight stretcher bars that screw in the back. So now we're going to try if you can get the um, the ones right over there. Yep. The Gallery Pro. We're going to do them with the T and the B notches so that that makes more sense as to... Where's the B notch? Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's set these over here. Those are... Stretchers. Okay, yep. I'm learning. That's you see, no, this is this is why we do this. I'll let you put this one together and I'll do the next one since it's a little bit bigger. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure you want me to be Would you rather do the big one? I always would rather do the big <laughs> one. Oh gosh, that's fine. Just just fit them, and then we can. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> no, no, look. no, no, stop, stop, look. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Or you could have just flipped that. Either or. Well, this is why I can't assemble things. You are IKEA's customer service worst nightmare, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. You order something the size of this table. And it comes in a box this big. You know what? I love to do that. What? I'm weird. I love to put stuff together. It's so fun. My wife likes to do that stuff too. Yeah. But somehow she wants. That's fine. I want it. You're right. You're okay. right. Okay. Oh, that went in nice. There you go. I'm hulking out. Ugh. It's not funny. I shouldn't be laughing. You're doing a fine job. Thanks. People at home should enjoy. <laughs> Amy. It's fine. We don't need that yet. <laughs> we don't need it yet. And it may save the day. Thank you, man. <laughs> Not good? All right. The best way to do this is like this. You can see the <gasps> little that's bit off. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, just, yeah, that's. They have to show the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. There you go. So you see how I'm a little off? No, 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 focus on this. Um. Okay, the, the, this part, see how this part's sticking out more yeah, yeah, than yeah. the other part? You want it to be like this because oh. as you push down, this moves it down that way. There you go. There you go. There you go. See how that looks better? That looks much okay, better. Okay, so it let's feels look at the... Too. Look at your other corners. Oh, the rest of it actually looks pretty good. It was just that one. Well, let's give lock that, this thing down. Give that, well, you're not left-handed. Go ahead and give that one more hit on the top. Just see, just a little. There it go. Perfect. Whoop. All right. Little bonk. All right. So now you need your staples. Where should you, you got it. All right. Now, where am I supposed to? I stapled in the wrong place last time. So here? Um, uh, with this, just go ahead and put, them, put two right there real close to that edge. It depends on the stretcher bar type. Okay. Well, like wood? Well, the, like how they join together in the back. Not all of them are the exact same. Different brands have different styles. Learning curve. Okay. And with that one, where's my hammer? Did you just, 
Well, it didn't go what, in which, all the way. What did you use? This okay. Is, this is... Well, a good thing to note. Okay. I have to make mistakes for the yeah, day yeah. at home. I knew not to do that. Yeah. Sometimes that'll, because that's so small, will put dents in your thing. So, And then it chips it over time, and as it starts drying out, I'm I'm just letting you know cause, no, that's because good. I can see woodworking in your future and you know Can giving you, you these special t- be tools and tree tips. Houses. That's right. You yeah. you may have that coming. Yeah. <laughs> IKEA doesn't make one, yeah. to my knowledge, for your wife to put together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've got that. So now we've got our bars. We have the B <clears throat> bar. That means that goes on the bottom. T bar goes on the top, and they cross okay? over, unlike they the do. Last so, one. which they've got these labeled wrong. So this is our T bar. Okay. Okay. Sand. Never want to force it because that bows the stuff out. Yeah. Here. Oh. <laughs> I'll I'll do it. That's fine. How much am I, I taking mean, off the check, top? Just, check this. Just a trim. It didn't. It didn't take a lot. To, to do. It's probably gonna get a little more of that here. I'll, I'll do it. Never send a boy to do a woman's job. Okay, so this is the difference between you went to school in the south and I went to school in the north. Yeah. Which, which is, is why weird. women wear flannel there, probably, because uh, you have to take had to take wood shop mm-hmm. all through middle school. Forced every year. I spent. I can. I can use a lathe and all sorts of crazy equipment. I spent so. most of middle school in New York. Did you? Yeah. So I have no excuse for any of this. Did they have wood shop there? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the Midwest, because yeah. you know you might need to build a barn or something. All right. So let's see now. Oh no! Yay! All right. Then we've got that. That'll kind of tell us if we've got it. We may need to move this a little more to the... Yeah, you have a... Killing vampires is easier than this. Yeah, maybe. All right. So then we've got that, okay? So what are we going to use to put those in? Well, we're not going to use staples, I'll tell you that. We're going to screw them in. All right. Open the bag. So see, so that gives you this nice, it's not going anywhere. No, no, it's pretty solid. So, um, so that's, that's that that same one that we just did, but instead of just the straight bars across, the bars. it's got the T bar with it where it's already beveled out. All right. So okay. next, we're going to be doing the profile ones. Let's just get these big ones here for now, because we'll get those in a minute. All right. Okay, this is right, probably easier to assemble on the floor. Can I have one of those, please? This. I mean, these. <laughs> this is like. A two by four. It is like a two by four. <laughs> it's, just cool. it's amazing. I don't even know what a two by four is. <laughs> well, because it's like this, but without the grooves. Yeah, without the grooves. <laughs> All right. It's a less groovy. Yes. So I'm matching my front up, right? Just doing this up here where I can see. I didn't think I'd need reading glasses to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do put. <clears throat> you you all right there? I'm just skittish around wood. This <laughs> okay, size. other other one? You're skittish around. <laughs> you had problems with the two by four? <laughs> Look, this Home, isn't about Home me. Home Depot. Nightmares of Home Depot or Lowe's. All right. See, that goes in pretty easy. We'll have to wrap it in. All right, see, making sure the front faces me on all these. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold that for just a minute. Get this started. My work here is done. Yep. You have become a professional uh, holder of wood. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want that title. 
All right. Oop! Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Be professional, Amy. Yeah. Oop. What we want to do in this video is show you how it's so easy anybody can do it. Yeah. But, but in all seriousness, if, if I can do this, you, you can do this. Uh, okay. All right. So My we, little sister does this. No, we've, we've got an issue with this one. Oh. It looks like this bar might be warped. Why do we always get the warped one? I don't know, because it's me. That's, that's my radiant personality. Your Draws warped, in the, warped yeah. personality. Here, grab this. We're going to take this off. All right. So this is a good thing to show, and this is something that customer service can clearly fix. And it's something I usually check. But after like the hundredth bar I had back last night, this is the, these came out of roll. the last one I was looking at. See how if you look down this? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's twisted. Oh, you don't like that. Well, you, you can't. You can't in putting it, it together up. because this is this is turned and that's turned. That one's straight down there. This is actually turned like that. So it's 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 on the the side for coming up. So that's something where. When you unpack them, check them all. Mm -hmm. if there's an issue, call customer service, write down, obviously before what it is. This would be a 34 inch one. Let them know if there's any abnormalities, they'll send you other ones out. So okay. rather than get to this point like we just did, mm -hmm. you know, but what we can do is we can still show how these go in with these notches so it makes sense. Okay. Okay, so grab, grab that one. All right, so this would be, this would be our bottom one. And let's take this one since this is uh And it's just, it's the nature of wood because until it dries, you don't know it can be cut right. It's just the grain can sometimes do that. It's not like a, oh my gosh, this is a, a horrible thing. It's, it just happens because it's a natural product, not man-made. Right. So. All right, so with these profile, they put two grooves in them, all right? And what you need to pay attention to for ordering your bars is when on this, on the website, it says 60 inch and it says four holes. Okay. Okay, so you've got two and two. So that's already, it's already given you the spaces to put your bars, your um, support bars in, okay? Right. On the 34, obviously, it says two, so you've got two here. So get me... Just those, that, that's fine, we'll show with this. Okay, so when you do this, obviously this is our 34 inch length. We would want these to be on the same side because we're gonna have a bar going this way. Mm -hmm. So we, if we put these over here. Does it matter which direction? No. It shouldn't. And this is gonna be where they're snug, so you're gonna have to Now, and this is something where people say, well, I can't, you can learn to do this on your own because I do this on my own all the time. Obviously, this is easier with a, another person to help you hold it. Just, you know, you utilize the floor and okay. all that. All right, so then we would have the 60 inch. So what this is going to do is because we've already used the two closest to us, gonna go in the this is gonna way. go in the furthest away from us like that. Okay. Okay, so see, you can see that the bars are, it gives room for the bars on the sides, but it still gives you that strength and capability of it being kind of braced each of the ways. I see. Rather than having to worry about this bevel, that bevel, right. you know, that part cut out. So that's with these big pro-life, this is how that they do this. And I actually really like this, and you know, I've. <laughs> having ordered these even before I worked at Jerry's when they first came out, this is the first one I've ever found that, of course, while we're filming, is warped. Well, but, but so, it wasn't before. No, 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 I've never had a problem. Right. It's just really funny that it would be, of course. Look, yeah. I'd rather us get the warped no, one no, than, than you I, get I would. the warped one, and, right? And it's, it's something good to talk about because it does happen with all brands, even, even some of the very expensive ones that we do where we actually ship them direct from the manufacturer. We don't keep them in stock. You even get them with those. So it just, it's because it's, 
wood and that happens. Natural product. Okay, so we can set these to the side and then we're going to start stretching. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Very exciting. I thought about like putting this together and then as a joke telling you you were actually going to stretch this one, but... There's nothing funny about that. No, I, I didn't want to make you sad and then pouty. All right. This is kind of like yoga as well. You're balancing, stretching, holding a pose. All right. So here's your... Uh, all right. <laughs> Did I do it wrong? I don't know. No. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to use the Pro Light. Obviously, with this, I would remove all these stickers. Why? Because you don't want that on so there. We, if, if for TV purposes, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But we're on the I'll internet. Because I'll take these. <laughs> we're on the internet. I would remove these, and I would use, like, a, kind of a probably the lavender okay, stuff to take leave. it off. Yeah, <clears throat> just to take the, the goo off. We don't need to worry about it for this. All right. Now you are going to be using <clears throat> just the cotton duck. Just the cotton duck. What, it's not primed, okay? Oh, okay. So me, in meaning that, but it's just the cotton duck. Oh. No, um, just, it, this is easier to stretch, it, but it's still heavy duty, feel it. Sure. You, you, as long as you're taking the time to do this yourself, don't skimp on a cheap roll of, okay, when you, <laughs> What? <laughs> don't, don't, don't skip on a cheap roll of fabric because you're you're actually... <laughs> Keep going, Amy. Gonna, yeah. You're going to use a ribbon and tie it like a that string. Is a, that is a stretch. Wow, all done. Taut canvas right there. <laughs> okay. I feel like I've lost you now. All right, okay. We'll do this first. Your puppet show. Okay. So this is your front, obviously, because you've got that beading, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna wanna put it face down. You're going, to, obviously you don't wanna put it in the middle and then stretch it and then cut all this excess off because that's useless. You wanna useless. save it you if wanna you have another to, 12 by 12. Yeah, or something smaller or, okay. you know, you can make, use excess to make small panels. I mean, don't, don't, you know, try to be thrifty because you can get a lot of mileage out of something if you're just really careful how you do it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure, okay, when you staple this, I'm going to have you staple in, see how there's this groove mm -hmm. here? To make it nice and tight, but then also make the back look clean for framing, I always want the stapling to happen there. So, we don't know. We haven't even trimmed this. Oh. You're going to have a lot of excess to be monkeying with if you start. I, I just want to get into the groove. <laughs> with, with just starting out, I would rather allow an extra inch. Okay. Okay, so we're just pulling this up to kind of see where we're going to want it. That's going to be good because you're going to be stapling there. You can always trim this excess off. Let's make sure with this it's about the same. No. I'm going to slide it a little bit further up. Yeah. Okay. And just make sure. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is, can you eyeball about that much on the side? You'd think. <laughs> Sometimes you can take just a tool and put it down. Okay, that to there is this line here. Okay. So you can do this, you know, to cut there. I do that with all sorts of stuff, pencils and everything, rather than get the measuring tape out. And a lot of people say take this and rip it along the, the seam because it makes it look cleaner in the back. You're going to trim the excess off the back. Don't worry about it. I like how you're like moving it up rather than just trying to eyeball it. That's good. Hey, look. No, I. I'm stretching yeah, my first This is the first time here. you're doing it. Yes, and just go ahead and cut straight up. Um, that's All the way. The, yeah, that's the easier thing to do because it's not like that'd be able to be used on anything else. Okay. okay. All right. So you got that. Then just take this, turn it, and you can do the same thing. Like, I feel like you should put a label on there like at the fabric store. <laughs> you, you look like you folded that nicely. Thank you. I like, yeah. like, a, I like to look like I fold things nicely. Yeah. Oh, winging it. <laughs> Not even looking at me. <laughs> Okay. 
again. I know. It's good for little panels. That'll little work. Panel. Yep. All right. So we've got this. Now what we're going to do is in the very middle, we're going to secure all of our corners. The first thing I want you to do is kind of eyeball on the side though and make sure that the that the thread kind of is running with this. Like, see how this is off a little bit? Yeah. We're gonna wanna tilt it and twist it just so a little because it will be very obvious on the, front. on the front when you're done, especially when you go to just So it. there is grain, like, yes. because of the, the, mm -hmm. the cotton crossing over. Yeah, the weave. No, there's a weave. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so staple here, here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pull it and you're gonna actually, would you do you want to use canvas pliers with this it might not be as i got them in case you need them okay. because you, can your fingers can get tired but with the size it's not as big of a deal okay um we've got two types you can pick your poison and one might work a little bit better on the smaller than another okay you can put that little spring in between mm -hmm. those are the creative mark ones I know what makes you happy. Big tool. Right. Look at me, I'm like a superhero. <laughs> we could have two in yeah. your hand. And... That one looks even more impressive. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it has a special wrap. This has a little slower grip and release, so I don't know if the, these kind of urethane pads on this do any better to help. The biggest problem is with the big canvas, it's easy because see how that's kind of angled, right? Mm -hmm. You grab it, pull it over, hold it behind. With this, because these are so small and you're obviously gonna be up here, you may have to pull it across like this and hold it. Underhand. Yes, so, or you know, th like that. Whatever feels best for you, if it's just easier to do with your, with your hands, that's understandable. And you can use this if you, I'll put that over there. You have choices. Okay. That's good. So we don't have to worry much about, about stretching this first one. All right. So you're going to put it, you can see kind of yep, where that, that line, is. Just one right yep. in the center. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now this is where you have to start. You always go across for every kind of measure. There's a countermeasure. Sure. So you're going to come across, you'll pull that really tight and then you'll be putting that in there. Yep. And just like right here? Yeah, as tight as you can go. Okay, all right. Now see how that makes this kind of mm -hmm. thing here pulled across. Now you're gonna come and do the top part and pull that down. I'm gonna hold this just so it doesn't slide for you. Thank you. Okay, see that got a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Same thing with that one. Now it's easier with less excess on the sides, but I just wanted to make sure that you had some. Something to grab onto. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna make sure it's, it's even. See how this is looser there? Mm -hmm. Make sure it's good and even, because that's gotta pull against both of these sides. Kind of these four are your most important to get. Like that? Yeah, as, as tight as you can. Oh, I almost missed. It's okay. It's okay. It's not like they can't be popped out and redone. redone. It's know, not, a, and most know. people are just like, oh my gosh, it must be perfect. Just to use a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now see how that's already starting to, Ooh. you got a little bit of play with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and sometimes you can see in a bigger one, you'll be able to see, see how there's kind of a little bit of that divot? Yeah. Um, because it's being pulled the tightest there. All right, so what you're gonna do is pick a top and bottom or side to side, whichever kind of is the easiest way for you to work. And you can always do it this way if that's easier to kind of use this pressure to pull against. But you're going to do, um, start going this way. Mm -hmm. With this one, one staple, come down here, go, this way, mm -hmm. you're doing the counterbalance, right. okay? So you'll do one staple one and you'll start working that way. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna get my linen out. 
It is interesting. Yeah. Now, when you get to the corners, let's leave some space. Okay. Um, about that's good. See about that much space there, because we can we'll catch up to that. We'll have to have enough room to be able to fold our canvas down. Okay. So make sure it's that, and then you can start back across this way and that way. Make sure you're pulling it nice and tight. All right. So now this side. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm Thank you. doing good, but You're famous right. last words for me. Okay. All right. Well, I can take a break on this, and we can um, go ahead and start working on corners for yours. How about that? Whatever you want. And then you'll be able to see how I do this. Okay. Because, you know, I know you're going to want to then do the tack thing later yeah, on Yeah, this is really showing me what I'm missing out on by not buying pre-stretched yeah. canvas. Yeah. Well, it's... Okay. So, this is... Obviously, a little bit of a pain in the butt. Right. But it's taken a while to. Now we have put a lot of things together. Sure. So, but when you do something like this, I really suggest that you sit down and you do all of your stretching in a day. Like, yeah. Think about the things that you want. Obviously, it's cheaper to buy them in bulk. Some of the um, the strips you have to buy a certain amount, depending. So, just have a time where you've got the whole day to do it because once you get into it, you get so much faster. You, you saw that the second row went faster than the, so the first quick. row. Okay, so it just, it's kind of that kind of mind numbing, put on some good music and, you know. Meditation. Yeah. No, you need something like. Lithium. Higher key to. Oh, at you all. Know, <laughs> for, for the music. Oh. All right, so with corners, I'll do this so that Will can see this here. You're gonna wanna tighten that up. See how you, I, I've got that like that? Yeah. And I'm pulling that over. You're gonna wanna pull that down. See, I'm making kind of a flattening this out. Uh huh. No. You're right. making it look pulling, so easy. Pulling that like that, pulling down. Uh huh. Now you can do one or two things. You can have it like this. Uh huh. It depends on what you want it to look like, but whatever you decide, you need to have do the consistent. continuity of yeah. all the corners. So a lot of times I'll do that, and depending, I can pull it flat down. This would have, obviously have to be further back here to pull it flat down. You know, um, it just depends. I, I like there to be some edge to it. And I do them like this and this on this side and then do it that other way and have that on the top and the bottom so you can't see it, the smooth sides then when you're hanging it. Mm -hmm. But it's entirely up to Okay. You. Why don't you play with it and see if there's, and if you needed to pick up a staple, you know, one of these staples to give you a little bit more room, like this feels like it's got a little bit more room, this is a little closer, that's fine to do. Okay. Or do you want me to just do one and then you have to try to mimic it? I mean, I was just gonna, you know, staple it like that. Okay. All right, well when you do that, see how this, this got loose here? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to do it that way, that's good. Let's um, take a staple and put it right here. You moved my tools. Just right there. Because then that's going to keep that from being able to pop up here. Right. Then you're going to want to pull tight. Both on there, pull tight down for that. You can always put another staple there if you're worried about it moving. I'm worried. Sometimes that's easier just as you're learning. Then you've got this to decide how you want to play with it. Do you want to lift it up more? Pull it down. You can always pull the staple out and have it where you can tuck it just a little tighter and get that kind of okay. the creative edge corner to right, it right, almost. Right. Um, so it's up to you. If you like that little bit of overlap, there's nothing wrong with that. You can just pull this down and then staple it there and there. 
transparent. Mm -hmm. And then one more here, because this is kind of loose. Okay. Let's see how nice and tight that is. Mm -hmm. When it's gessoed, you'll still have this wrinkle in it, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just picking a style and making sure it's even all the way around, okay? okay. So, and you can see that that's nice and drum tight. So you're gonna want to do that with your other stuff. And then this ex excess we can cut off in a little bit. So okay. just, and then go from there. It might be easier to do kind of your off corner and then do them that way, just so it's kind of pulling it. Bugs. Bugs are in here. Okay, remember to pull this tight first. There you go. Ow. <laughs> this is where the pliers sometimes make it easier. Make, oh, stop, stop. Hold on. You got extra excess fabric in behind that. Oh. That could have been. Catastrophic. I mean, you just pull it back out, but it's just a pain. Okay, so you've got that. Then figure out your, your turn to pull down and then. And just. Watch here. Yeah, because that's got to be. Like that? That looks good. Okay, no. hold on. Yeah, because you've got it a little bit off. Here. It's okay. We all are. I don't know if saying that makes you feel any better. No. Okay. You know what? Go ahead and give that one off. Okay. Right. Lower, lower, lower. Lower down, like here. But no, no, because you got fabric. Yeah, you go. Right here, back down in your little groove. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now here. You're trying so hard. I'm very proud of you. Yep. Put it's a couple hard for me here. to concentrate. I know. On life. <laughs> on life. On life itself. All right. Okay. So then we go over here. Uh huh. Okay. You want me to? No, oh, you okay, no, so we'll, we wouldn't do it so that there's just... Yes. So we would be doing you wanna, the Yep. I cut myself somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the canvas. All right, why don't we time lapse this because we're going to be here for eight hours. Okay. And uh, we'll come back when this is finished. All right, what am I doing? Okay. So that's not too bad. Well, for first attempt of two people trying to wrestle it at the same yeah. time. See? Yeah. And then once you gesso that, you could take the scissors and trim it. Yeah. You can go ahead and do that, and I'll start this. All right. All right. And with this, I am going to put a staple on each of these. So it kind of holds it out of the way a little bit. Oh, look. Oh, there you go. So. I'm going to just kind of staples. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When you do it, what I always do is, is do the sides first and then come across the top from side to side, kind of hold it up. You want to come just over the edge when you put it in. Yes. You want to work it into the grain and then brush the excess away. You don't want to see any of the fabric at all. You got your fabric to my canvas. I got some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just didn't realize that we've gone through that many. OK, 
tin with oil prim linen, you don't want to stretch it super tight because you'll crack the priming. Right. You want it to be, there's a fine line between tight enough and too tight. So if you start noticing cracking, you want to not be quite as, uh, all right, that's better. Um, you know what, let's put some of this under here. Maybe it'll make it not bang so probably. See if that helps, Jamie. Did it. okay it's not going to be super white like the first layer because that's a pretty okay as you're doing this don't push on you're pushing on it and it's like pushing the canvas forward it's not good no even i know that i'm surprised you're not wearing gloves or other protective accoutrements you have no idea what kind of things i'm wearing <laughs> You always make sound effects when you just so. What? You always make sound effects when you just so. Yes, I make sound effects and I do everything. Are you good now? If you're gonna get more on you by the time you do that part. You'd like to think so, <laughs> wouldn't you? You guys are getting witness history. You're watching me stretch my first and last canvas. <laughs>
uh, with the oil uh, priming. I might just leave this and staple it down because if I ever wanted to put it on a thicker stretcher, because this is going to be where my edge is, right? If I wanted to put it on a thicker stretcher, I've got ample room right. to put it on something slightly larger. So I would just want to not put a whole lot of stuff in it, but just like maybe one staple back here. Yeah, but if you were to restretch in something larger, wouldn't you have holes in it? Yeah, but if you're going to frame it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, cause, because obviously this isn't going to be like a three inch. Right. You know, it's, it's going to be behind uh, a frame, so it's not going to be, you just don't put it, you, that's why you leave enough space where you've got another area to attack it to. Okay. Or staple it, you know, however you would want to do it, but. Okay, so oil primed, it's got some rebound to it. I mean, you, you want it to be some, just because if this, because it's it's got the rabbit skin glue on the back, if it shrinks or contracts, it's got a place to, to go with it. It's not so tight that it's gonna then tear it and damage it on the edges. Okay. So. so. Well, it's as simple as that, everybody. <laughs> I wonder if this will have value. This is the only stretch canvas I'll ever make. You never know. Somebody you could always put it. it up for auction. I wouldn't auction. I just maybe <laughs> it's know, like a oh, fundraiser it. for yeah. Somebody might want it to say they painted on an original Mike Not Jerry. <laughs> Mike Not Jerry. Yeah, you never know. Oh, Throw darts boy. at it, maybe. Yeah. Print your face off. Put it on there. Ready to go. Is there anything else? I, I think we're good. This has kind of covered the. Full gambit of the yeah. ups and downs of the yeah. life of a canvas stretcher. <laughs> you can follow our miss, our art adventures and mishaps. Adventures, yeah, yeah uh, you can follow <laughs> Amy Gardner Dean on Facebook, mm -hmm. and you can follow me uh, at Mike Not Jerry on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, yeah, we want to we want to communicate with you. We want to yeah. we want to be part of the artist community. I, I think that's what we're, we're here. Yeah, and it, what. It, what I think a good question for this after people watch it is what what are the stretching problems that have perplexed you? You mm -hmm. know, what issues have you come up with? You know, obviously we had the bar that was right off. I mean, what what crazy things have you encountered? Crazy That's stretching stories. Yeah, put those comments below so Amy can do it. Don't write me at Mike <laughs> Not Jerry because I have no friggin' clue. Yeah, but it'd just be it'd be fun to to see what people have done and said sure. and you know things or things that have worked really well. So, all right, well. Hug it Thanks out. for tuning in. Yes, and that's okay. I'll As you know, Jesse. we have to go. It's taco night. Yes. <laughs> so that's it. Yep. Thanks Bye. for tuning in. Bye. Good.